Esta es una noticia muy importante. Atención, el congresista Morgan McCarvey acaba de expresar eh, que va a trabajar fuertemente para que los cubanos puedan obtener ese tan anhelado parol. Es decir, que aquellas personas de nacionalidad cubana hayan obtenido, quienes hayan obtenido la I-220A, es decir, esa eh, posibilidad que tiene la persona que ha estado en centro de detención, que sea eh, liberada bajo su propio reconocimiento, van a tener la posibilidad de ser factible, de ser escuchada esta solicitud eh, por parte de este congresista que el director del de, Departamento de Seguridad Nacional pueda autorizar que a estas personas se les dé un parol, es decir, que esta I-220A sea homologada a un parol. Escuchemos lo que dijo el congresista. Mr. Speaker, my hometown of Louisville is the fastest growing Cuban community in the entire U.S. 14,000 Cubans have arrived in our city in just the last two years, enriching our social fabric by building families, contributing to our economy, and adding pasteles and cafecito to our menus in the process. The Cuban Adjustment Act creates a clear pathway to residency for Cuban nationals who immigrate to the United States. But court rulings threaten the ability of Cubans recently issued an I-220A form to remain in the U.S. This is wrong. It robs Cubans of the rights guaranteed them by the Cuban Adjustment Act. And no one should have to live in this legal limbo, including the thousands of individuals who live in my district. Today, I'm sending a letter to DHS Secretary Mayorkas urging him to correct this situation by granting parole in place status to any Cuban issued an I-220A. I know he is committed to ensuring no one is wrongly or arbitrarily removed from our country, and I will continue to work with him and my colleagues here until this is fixed.